everybody, Sleepy Stacker here. Just wanted to make a quick video about a couple things. First and foremost, um, some of you may know that I won AU Rebels 500 subscriber giveaway. He did an awesome giveaway. This is a 2007 Libertad, uh, vintage of 200,000, so pretty low. And, um,. I think they're awesome. I've never had a Libertad before. I looked at a couple, but never never picked one up. So I'm really excited about this, and thank you very much, AU Rebel. I'm sure most of you have, but if you have not seen his channel, go over there and subscribe. He's clearly very generous, and he has a lot of knowledge and very cool videos. The next couple things I want to show you, um, these aren't new, but... I just haven't shown them, I don't know why, just my one, no, not my one, a um, 1935 Walking Liberty, my grandfather gave this to me, he's got a nice coin collection, and this was one of his duplicates, and he gave it to me, so yeah, I think they're pretty cool, I like, I like how they feel, for some reason I think they have a different feel. Either because of the silver content or just because it's smoothed out after the years of circulation. The next two things are two buffalo nickels, also from my grandfather. He he put his coin collection together when he was younger, so things were much more abundant. These were both dupl duplicates. 35 and a 36. And I really like history, so I just really think it's awesome to hold piece of history in my hand. Some other things, there's the final two things he he gave me. A um, 49D and a 58D. 58D is pretty shiny. Um, yeah, that's a little more numismatic than my other stuff. And here are some things that I found. That's worse. Well, coin roll hunting. Um, this 1958 is in pretty nice condition. You can see there the luster and there are no big marks. The back of it is real focus. I'm pretty sure that's pretty good condition. I'm not great at grading coins. Probably worse than anybody out there. But I was really stuck. Um, happy to find this. I, I did all these these three things. I found coin roll hunting as well as this tube. I was hoping to fill it up. I had two boxes of pennies, so 5,000 pennies, but I didn't quite get there. Um, so after that 58, I've got a, a 47 that's in an okay condition. Pretty good. I, I don't know. It's got some nicks and some other stuff on it, but it's still got some shine. And then I'm pretty sure this was the oldest. Actually, I think I found a 1920, but I seem to have misplaced it. But yeah, it's a 19... Ugh, the lighting is bad. Whatever. It's a 1930, and so it's pretty old. I'm very happy about that. So yeah, those are my best finds, I feel. I didn't end up counting, but it was a good amount of wheat pennies. And these are the four silver dimes that I have. I bought these and I did experiments on them, so they don't look very nice. I heated them up on my stove. And they uh, got some odd toning. My favorite is this. I'm having camera troubles today. It's a little later in the day. There's not as much light. Um, but yeah, oh, there you go. I don't know, camera doesn't, oh, there you go. In the light, you can see orangish. Pretty cool, I think, the way the heat changed it. Um, well, not just the heat, I put it in water or rubbing alcohol. I don't, I don't know, not put together today. I did also hunt a... Box of nickels. This is, of course, not working. There we go. And I didn't find any buffaloes or any war nickels. I found uh, 1939 was my oldest. 
But I'm not going to complain because I did find a lot of pre-50s and low 40s dates. I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, thanks again to AU Rebel for his awesome contest. Make sure you go over there, leave him lots of likes, and that's all for now, folks.